Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will solve another exercise on loops. So this is the exercise. I want you to write a program which displays the sum of digits of an integer read from the user. So for example, suppose that the user enters this number, 108. Then we should calculate 1 plus 0 plus 8 and display the result, okay? Another example. If the user enters 1, 1, 2, 3, we should calculate 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and display the result. Final example, if the user enters this number over here, we must calculate 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and display the result, alright? So as you can see, our program can take different numbers of different numbers of digits. So this number has 3 digits, this number has 4 digits, and this number has 5 digits, okay? So we don't know how many digits we have. Now I want you to pause the video and try to solve this exercise. And remember to use the model operator and the division operator, okay? So now let's see our solution. First of all, we will read the number from the user. And after that, we will keep extracting the digits using the modulo and the division operators and adding them to a variable sum. And when we finish extracting all the digits, we will display the sum, all right? So how are we going to extract the digits? Let's have a look at a small example. Suppose that the user enters 123. So as you can see, this number has three digits. Of course, our sum is going to start from zero. So what are we going to do? First of all, we want to extract this digit over here and add it to sum. So our sum will be equal to 3. And of course, to extract this digit, we are going to use the modulo operator. So we are going to add unmodulo 10 to the variable sum. Okay? Now after that, we want to get rid of this digit over here, right? So we are going to divide n by 10. So n will be equal to 12. And now we will do the same thing. So we are going to extract this digit, so we are going to add unmodulo 10 to the variable sum, so it is going to be equal to 5. And after that, we are going to divide n by 10, so we will get rid of this digit over here, so n will be equal to 1. And now we will do the same thing. We will add to the variable sum unmodulo 10, so it is going to be equal to 6. And after that, we will divide n by 10, so n will be equal to 0. Because obviously, we are performing an integer division. So as you can see, when n is equal to 0, we know that we are finished. So we are going to keep extracting digits as long as n is greater than 0, alright? So let's go to IntelliJ. So first of all, this is our scanner object, and we are reading an integer from the user, okay? Now as we said, we want to keep extracting the digits of this integer as long as this integer is greater than 0. Now let's use a while loop, and we will run this loop as long as n is greater than 0, alright? And inside this loop, we want to extract the digits and add them to a variable called sum. So let's declare the variable sum over here. Let's say int sum is equal to 0, like this. Now inside the loop, first of all, let's get the first digit. So let's say we want to add to the variable sum n modulo 10, right? So if our number is a, b, c, then we are adding c to the variable sum. Now what do we want to do? We want to get rid of the digit c. So we are going to divide the variable n by 10. So now, if n was equal to abc, it will be equal to ab. And as you can see, the loop ends over here. So we are going to check the condition. Is n greater than 0? Let's suppose that this condition is true. So now we are adding n modulo 10 to the variable sum. So in this case, n is equal to ab. So we are adding the digit b to sum. And after that, we are dividing n by 10. So now n is equal to a. And the same thing will happen. We are going to add a to the variable sum, and then we will divide n by 10. So now n will be equal to 0. So when we check this condition, this is going to be false, so we'll exit the loop. And as you can see, the sum of our digits will be stored in the variable sum. So let's print sum. Over here, let's say sum equals, and let's concatenate the variable sum. And this is it. Run the program. And let's enter the number 1, 2, 3, for example, and press enter. As you can see, the sum of the digits is equal to 6. 1 plus 2 plus 3, all right? Run the program again. Now let's say 107. Press enter, and as you can see, the sum is equal to 8. Let's say we have 12. Press enter, and as you can see, the sum is equal to 3, all right? So this is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.